Hi, today we're going to learn about the structure of benzene. Uh, benzene molecular formula is C6H6. There are six carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms. Uh, ben carbon belongs to the fourth group. Uh, so it has electronic configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. That means it has got four electrons in the uh, outer shell, where two are actually in the uh, 2s orbital and two are present in the 2p orbital. One uh, orbital obviously will jump to the 2p orbital as Horn's rule says uh, the equal energy orbitals when they are available uh, the uh, electron will uh, occupy a separate orbital which is only for uh, the p orbital uh, filling uh, by the electrons. But in this case the s electron uh, which will be transferred to the 2p orbital that means s orbital and p orbital both are half filled so half filled are more stable than the normal uh, uh, incomplete orbitals now looking at the benzene structure if you look at it uh, these are the carbon atoms uh, all of them i haven't drawn the hydrogen uh, in this if you look at it uh, this is what was suggested uh, by august kakul and before that it's it's been just been purified by michael faraday back in the days in 16th century and uh, 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 August Kekul is the one who actually saw the dream and he started thinking about the six snakes are holding the tail of each other. Now, based on the uh, evidence at that time what we had, he suggested that benzene is actually the hybrid structure of alternate single and double bond. Uh, the bond length by the extra diffraction, if you look at it, the carbon to carbon bond length, whenever there is a single bond, its bond length will be uh, larger than the double bond because they uh, become more closer because of the uh, sharing of four electrons between them. There is 135 picometer for the carbon to carbon single bond and 147 picometer for carbon to ca carbon double bond. So single bond length is higher than the uh, uh, the double bond. But when we look at the, uh, the uh, structure of the benzene, we look at it that there's a carbon to carbon single bond there, but there are also uh, a carbon to carbon double bond there as well. That's what that's what was suggested before. Uh, when we use the X-ray diffraction after, we found that there is no single or there is no uh, double bond. But in fact, these pi electrons in the P orbital, which are parallel to the uh, perpendicular to the plane of, of benzene ring, they actually uh, overlap with each other. So that means that will suggest that there is a single bond double double bond single bond double bond uh, but through uh, the extra diffraction you look at it that the bond length is actually same so there are six carbon to carbon bonds and they suggested that the bond length is actually between the intermediate the uh, is right in the middle of uh, both uh, carbon atom uh, bondless which are suggested for single and double bond so based on that they said these pi bonds or pi electrons will make a cloud on top and uh, below the uh, plane of uh, benzene ring and make a sandwich uh, uh, of uh, electrons uh, on the uh, benzene surface the later on they look at the uh, hydrogenation of the one of the cyclohexene molecule is not benzene but it does have one double bond when they did that it actually came out as 100 and, uh, minus 120 uh, there's one thing which is missing now this has not been taught in the specs but there is actually a dicyclohexene uh, they did the hydrogenation of uh, that molecule making cyclohexane and that suggested it is uh, minus 232 kilojoules per mole of energy came out if we use any of these, for example, if we use this, uh, that was the evidence uh, which has suggested that the benzene does not have an uh, alternate single and double bond. Based on that, if you look at it, uh, the benzene, if we take three single bond and three double bond, uh, so three double bonds, carbon to carbon double bond, uh, will take how much energy uh, for hydrogenation? And that will be 120 times three, which will be 360 minus 360 kilojoules per mole. When they actually look at the evidence, the energy which will actually come out, because it is an exothermic uh, reaction, it is actually 208. So for benzene itself here, 
if you do a hydrogenation, uh, the energy required to make cyclohexane was minus 208 kilojoules per mole. So that means it will be um, less than the energy came out uh, by doing the hydrogenation of uh, each bond uh, in, from the cyclohexene. That shows the stability of the benzene ring is a lot greater than the uh, cyclohexene itself. Benzene is a lot stable due to the de delocalization of the electrons. And this is how, why uh, this is an unsolved mystery so far. We cannot actually uh, explain it further uh, apart from using the de delocalization method that it is actually be delocalized. I don't know how it's going to happen, but uh, this is what it is. This is what we are actually uh, uh, believing in at the moment uh, for the structure of the benzene. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, share and like my videos.